Uh, this is just a quick um, overview of the uh, Motorrad's um, original chin mount. Um, I bought it for my C4 uh, shoe berth. Um, I did actually um, make a 3D print one uh, for my C3, which seemed to work okay to be honest, but a bit chunky. Um, uh, found another design on the net, um, which I've 3D printed, um, which looked quite promising, but when I actually um, looked at mounting it, the angle of the wings um, is just so wrong. It's unbelievable. Um, if you mounted it, it would be somewhat sort of like that, uh, which is quite a way off. I mean, ideally you want that part there flat and then the wings to drop in really, but so it's totally the wrong angle for this helmet. Um, it's a nice design that somebody's put on the, uh, the web if you've got a 3D printer. Uh, but not in the end I thought well you know a couple of hundred pounds for your GoPro camera do I really want to risk the 3D printing where these these edges here can crack quite easily and break so uh, I just thought no I'm not going to risk it so as I say I bought the motor rads which is a very simple process to clip together it's basically a push fit um, as shown by the instructions there um, these just snap into place um, I bought it on uh, Amazon, um, roughly £31, which is the cheapest I could find it. Um, seems to do the job, I think, or will do the job. Um, that gives you just some idea of the maximum extent that it can move out to. Um, but the fit of it, not the easiest thing in the world to show this, but uh, having a black helmet doesn't help. Maybe if I put that whiteness beyond there. Um, if I hold this flush to there, now this is a C4 Pro. Um, it's not uh, not C4 Pro, so just just C4. Um, you can see there is a bit of a gap there, but it is retained quite well by the wings and the center point there. There's a little bit of an air gap. Um, if I push that flat to that, which you can't really, to be honest, that's, it does push the wings off a little bit. So the profile is not perfect, but I think if I if I was to, I bought uh, an eight pound kit of parts as well. I was doing it. If I was to add an extra pad, uh, just to bulk up that centre point there, I think that would get that in contact. But but being honest, I think with this three M type glue tape. Once that's on, it's on, you know, just just with the uh, the two fittings on the wing side of it, really. So, but I would like the extra reinforcement. Um, the other thing I looked at was then fittings um, for the um, uh, what would you call it? Yeah, Ulazi um, GoPro mount. Um, if I, t I tried the the this one here, which it's just got that profile but um the problem is it just cannot swing back far enough it sort of it ends up somewhat like all but sort of pointing down like that um so the best compromise i came to uh was using the original gopro mount um and then uh two swivels 190 um so i can swivel in both directions and that seems to give the best option um for mounting i'm sorry about my back camera work just bear with me let's push that in there so i've I sort of found that that is the best option really um let's come away from the blackness of there um it does bring it out a little bit from the um the actual uh uh, helmet but it does give me the option then to move in all directions that I need to really so uh, but really the review was really more about um, you can find your own way to mount it, it was more about this motor reds oh, really which is expensive for three pieces of molded plastic I mean there's probably I don't know, 60 pence worth of plastic there really um, I know somebody had to design a tool and all the rest of it but you know come on 30 quid um, it does seem a bit of a ripoff, really, but it is well made and it is, you know, a lot stronger than uh, 3D printed parts. Um, I just don't want to risk the 3D printed parts. So, so if you're looking at the profile of it, I would say yes, it fits the uh, C4, no problem at all. 
Um, I don't know if the C4 Pro has got a slightly different profile, I'm not sure, but um, this is the C4. It's not the basic model, uh, this has got the comms and that built into it. Um, so I'll, I'll have a look at mounting that. It doesn't uh, detract from the air vent there, so. Um, but I'll give it a go, and once I've got it all mounted, I'll put another video and I'll do a clip of showing um, just using it.